Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. This one, we will explore Elvis helping a local cause. Let's jump in. So in 1957, Elvis lent his fame towards the Coffee Day fundraiser in Memphis. So let's talk about what that is. I found this article in the Jackson Sun about the upcoming fundraiser. The Coffee Day Committee, pictured here, were planning their second annual event held throughout the state. It explains, waitresses in cooperating restaurants will sell coffee day buttons during the week preceding Good Friday. On Good Friday, anyone wearing a button can go into cooperating restaurants and drink all the coffee they want free of charge. The proceeds will be turned over to the Tennessee Society for Crippled Children and Adults, Inc. to be used in helping needy handicapped. On April 13th, Elvis went to one of the participating restaurants, Monty's, and bought the first button. They were one dollar. Here he is with Monty Robinson, a Memphis restaurateur, who is placing the pin on Elvis's lapel in this shot by Les Cooper. They're each wearing a pin that looks like a little coffee cup. I found similar ones online, close to the one that Elvis had. That picture with Monty was published in the newspaper and gives us a little bit more information. It looks like 130 Memphis restaurants participated in this event, plus 340 more in other cities in Tennessee. The previous year, Coffee Day raised $16,000, which is equivalent to nearly $175,000 today. The fund had plans to build a camp for kids, so Elvis thought it was a great cause and happily had his picture taken to spread awareness. There is no information on where exactly any of these pictures were taken, so I did a little digging on the restaurant. Monty Robinson was a successful owner of two restaurants in town. However, in 1957, it was still just one, Monty's Drive-In. According to historicmemphis.com, it was a tiny 28-seat drive-in that opened in 1937. I also came across this postcard with a rendering of the restaurant addressed to a Mr. and Mrs. Ashley, which I thought was funny. So naturally, after I learned all of this, I wondered, what does this place look like today? So on a recent trip to Memphis, I went and found out. This is where Elvis stopped by on April 13th, 1957 to help out a worthy cause. This area is a bit rough, but in Elvis's time, Summer Avenue was one of the main drags. Monty's drive-in was demolished in the late 1970s, but I know this is the right spot as there is a leftover from Monty's time. The other side of this short cement wall can be seen in this old photo of the restaurant. And that is it. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram for rare photos and fun facts that don't make it into the videos. The links for those are in the description box below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.